Hey guys, welcome back to the video chat project with Golang series. We've built the handlers, the server, and the packet chat. Now we're going to work on the WebRTC. So we'll start with the ps.go file. This is the first file in these three. And here uh, you'll see that we've already defined a struct for room, which is basically peers and hub. And uh, we've also defined peers, what it looks like. It has a list lock, it has connections, peers, peers having multiple connections, right? for having video chats and just regular text chats. And then we have track locals from track local uh, static RTP. Apart from this, we will have a peer connection state. So I'll say peer connection state, which is a struct and consists of peer connection variable, which is simply web RTC dot peer connection. Now, uh, this tutorial, this entire series is made on the basis on, on the assumption that you already know WebRTC really well, and you know all about all these functions. In case you don't uh, know about the track local static RTP and all of these functions, uh, I would recommend you always keep the um, documentation open with you. Yeah, and even though I've worked with WebRTC quite a while, uh, I still open, keep the documentations open on, on another screen whenever I'm building anything. So make sure you do that. Make sure you keep referring to the functions and how they work. We need a thread safe writer. To define a thread safe writer, what we'll do is we'll say type thread safe writer. It's a struct, obviously. Has connection, which is web socket dot connection and it has a mutex sync dot mutex then there are apart from the dispatch keyframe function there are uh, a few more functions that are important the first is the add track function then we have the remove track function and we have the write JSON function. So the write JSON function is actually a method for thread safe writer. Returns an error. So your thread safe writer has a mutex. So we'll say t dot mutex dot lock and defer t dot mutex dot unlock, and we'll return write JSON v v being an interface. The add track function is also a method for peers. takes in D, which is webrtc dot track remote and returns webrtc dot track local stacker static rtv and then we'll we'll work on this function we'll build it in a while but before that i just want to uh i just want to create the uh, the the skeleton for the remove track function as well. So remove track function again will look very similar to add track. Essentially, it's a method for peers takes in webrtc dot track local static rtp. So I'll just copy and paste that here. Then there is one more function that I need, which is going to be a very important function for us, which is going to help us to signal to our peers for peer connection. So we'll say signal peer connection. That's the name of the function. It's again a method for peers. All right, so this is our entire structure. Um, this is our entire, you know, 
bare bones structure for the entire project, the outline, and at the end I want to I want to end this with a WebSocket message which is struct again it's an event S sorry event string json and event the other thing that you have is data which is data string json data so we have the bare bones ready and in the next video we'll start tackling each of these functions so i think we'll start with add track then we'll work with remove track and then the other two so thanks a lot for watching till now and um, i hope you have subscribed already to this channel uh, i'll see you in the next video thank you